This eye is watering and being a little booger bear today. Beautiful. What? And then it's a little a little bubble bu bu dump. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I was really kind of like back into that sort of tropical makeup situation, like the warm tones and then the like blue under eyes. This eye. I don't even know what's going on with this, so if they look different, this eye is watering and being a little booger bear today. So, anyway. But I was really into that sort of blue, turquoisey under eye this week. Timothy and I went out of town last weekend, so I have some favorites from that trip that I was using. Um, and thank you so, so much for all the anniversary wishes. We had a great trip, a great anniversary. 10 years we've been married. We were together almost like five before that, four and a half years, so. We've been together a long time and I'm just so blessed. Like, I feel so blessed to have him in my life. I don't take him for granted. I really don't. Like, every day I thank God for him. So, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful for my husband, for my marriage, for my family, for you guys. I'm just thankful. So anyway, why am I getting all emotional? I don't know. I am. But I just, I feel thankful in my life. So yeah, those are the favorites we're going to go with this week. So let's jump to it. On my nails this week, I've got this polish. I don't know how well y'all are even gonna be able to see this, but it's like, I don't even know. It is, let me tell you what it is. This is from Sally's. This is the brand Bitsy. Bitsy nail color, and this is in the color Sweetie Pie. That's super cute. So it's like a light creamy yellow, but then it's got like little pink and green, like, not really glitter, but little chunks of, I don't know, I guess they are glitter, but they're not shiny, they're like matte. You know what I mean? I don't know, but then I have a top coat over it so it looks shiny, so I'm just babbling. It is a creamy, yellowy color with some sort of little bits flying in it. <laughs> oh, and there's orange too. Um, I do like this, I think it's cute, but it's one of those polishes that's like, really maddening because you want to get the little, I don't know if y'all are like this, but I want to get all the little like glittery things evenly placed on my nails and that never happens. Like this one has way chunkier pieces than any of the other nails. So that's weird, but I guess it's not too weird. It's okay. It's not my favorite polish I've ever used and my paint job for it is just horrible. So don't look at that. But this whole line from Sally's is really affordable. I think everything is under $3. And when I got it, it was all on sale for $1.59. So super duper affordable line. And they had a lot of different uh, polish colors. So you might want to check them out. For eyes this week, I've still totally been into this little quad from MAC from the Vibe Tribe collection called The Canyon. I already mentioned this last week and swatched it and talked about it. But I love it. It is just beautiful. These top two are like incredible. Check out last week if you want to see swatches of this, but I love this quad. But then for my under eyes, these are the two liners that I was reaching for. This is the Makeup Peak Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil, and this is in Cobalt. And this is a really beautiful blue. And then I also was wearing this one from Merle Norman. This is the uh, soft touch eye pencil in ocean blue and this one is way more of like a turquoise but these are both beautiful and I think they go really well together so I wore them separately like one day I wore just this one one day I wore this one but then today I've actually got them both on so I have this one a little bit on this part on the inner corners and then I have the blue on the outer corners with things layered over them that I'm about to tell you about so both just really great liners. Like they really glide on your eyes well, they wear well. I love them both. I think they're both really beautiful. I think this Mill Norman one is a, I hope it's a permanent color, but I mean, it's part of the summer line so you can get it right now, but um, hopefully after summer it'll still be available. I don't know, but I really do like these liners. I think they're very creamy and I really do love the Makeup Geek ones too. So. Both awesome liners, both beautiful colors. For the turquoise liner, I have this eyeshadow from Clinique. This is one of their Lid Pops in Aqua Pop. This is just really pretty in the pan. Like, even that alone makes it pretty. It's cute, it's in the shape of a flower, but it's also got that duochrome look, like, even in the pan it looks duochrome -y. And it is so 
beautiful. What? I mean, gorgeous. I need to wear this on my lid. I need to do a look with this just like on my lid, not just on my lower lash line, but oh my, look how pretty that is. So I've swatched pretty much all these colors, I think, at least all the ones that are in Sephora, and this one's definitely the standout to me. I feel like some of the other ones aren't super amazing. Um, like, it's not necessarily that they're bad, but they're just like lighter colors that even don't even really show up well on my skin tone. Like one of them, I can't remember the exact colors, but I feel like there's like a light pinky color that's really pretty. It's got a duochrome look to it, but I can just tell that if I wear it, it's gonna totally blend into my skin tone. So anyway, this one's my favorite color and that's amazing. I mean, look at that. Just so duochrome and reflective. So it's like a turquoise, but then it's got this golden flashing to it. It's beautiful. Builds up really nicely, works really well over a liner, so that makes it last even longer. It's just really pretty, and it has that sort of tropical look on the eyes. And the shadow that I've got over that Makeup Geek liner is from this little trio from Merle Norman. This is from their summer collection. This is in So Azuring, and I'm using the color turquoise. The turquoise color that I'm using is called turquoise. So there it is, there's turquoise. And it's just a really beautiful, I don't know that I would call this, I don't know that I would call that turquoise. I don't know, it's like a light, I don't know, matte blue, like a sky blue or something, but it's got a little bit of a warm tone to it. I don't know, I picture teal with a little bit more green in it. You tell me what you would call this color, but it's just a really beautiful light blue. I really love it. I do feel like this works a lot better over a base or a liner. By itself, I feel like I have to kind of build it up quite a bit, but over a sticky base, it really does build up nicely and it's gorgeous over a liner. Like over that Makeup Geek liner, it worked perfectly. So there's that. Let me show you the swatches of the other two from this trio. I've shown y'all the other trio, the like warmer toned one. That one's my favorite of the two from the summer collection, but this one's really pretty too. Like if you want kind of like a, I didn't wear these two this week, but if you want that sort of like subtle kind of an eye look and then like a pop of color on your lower lash line, this is a really pretty trio to do that. Like that's a really pretty color. Like that over, um, oh man, what was it? Oh, that Jordana. Um, liquid eyeshadow in Not A Wink Pink with that over it. Mm hmm kind of like Amber Rush. Yes, really, really pretty. That's kind of like a light creamy sort of color, that lightest color there. Yeah, like a light cream. But anyway, I wore the blue this week. I think it's really, really pretty and just has that sort of tropical vibe. For blush this week, I pretty much wore this one every single day. Like, I think I maybe wore one other thing this week, but this was definitely the standout. This is my Clinique Cheek Pop in Melon Pop, and it is just the prettiest peachy shade. And you can see like, I've worn the biggest dent down in Nude Pop, but this one I'm kind of like wearing a dent into it, but you can still see the pattern, which is so pretty. I love these whole like cheek pops, lid pops. They're just really cute. All the pops are cute and I love them. Now these are a blush, I've mentioned this before, these are a blush that you really kind of have to like build up, but I love that about them. Like they're not hard to build up, but they're just really, really user friendly. Like they don't stick, they don't drag, they just blend like a dream and they build on themselves beautifully and then they wear really well. So they are some of my very favorite blushes. One of my very favorite packaging wise, I think I picked these as my favorite for packaging in the blush tag because they're just cute and they're little and I like the little like see-through, you know, plasticky situation on the outside of the packaging. They're just cute and they're really good blushes and I love Melon Pop. I think it's a beautiful color. I really like the um, lipstick from their line in Melon Pop too. That's really pretty. So I went back and got a couple more things from the Vibe Tribe collection. I just can't get over the beautiful packaging on it. This is the Gleam Tones powder in Dunes at Dusk. And it's basically just a highlighter. So I'm wearing this today and it's gorgeous. Like it's really, really pretty. At first when I was in the store looking at this, I was like, 
mm, it's okay. But then I kept thinking about it and I was like, yeah, no, I think I want that. So I went back and got it. These are the four different colors. And I'm so glad I did because it's really pretty. And it's one of those products I feel, and that's why I didn't get it originally. I feel like it's one of those products that doesn't look all that exciting in a swatch. But on the skin, it looks really, really pretty. I'm going to try to show you. But again, I think it's just one of those things that's like, it's, I don't know. So there they are right there. Like, yeah, I just, I mean, that doesn't look very exciting, but it is really, really pretty on the skin and it builds up really, really nicely. So you can do like a lighter layer and then it's a little, a little, a little bit more subtle, but then you can build it up on itself and then it's a little bit more, bam, of highlights. So really pretty. All mixed together, it's sort of like a peachy pink sort of a highlight. It's really, really pretty. Pretty cool toned, I would say, more on the pinky side, but it does have that little bit of golden, orangey warmth to it. Oh, it's so pretty. I just love it. I'm so glad I got it because I've been wearing it a lot. I think it's gorgeous. For lips this week, I was still wearing Arrowhead. I mentioned this last week. If you wanna see a swatch of it, check out last week's video, but I wore it a lot this week too. And then I also wore this. I don't know if you can get this by itself. This is the Laura Geller Love Me Do Lip Crayon, and this is in Fig Prosecco. And I got this in a set from QVC, but this is so pretty. Really nice formula, so I mean, I would recommend these. Actually, I had another one that was like a watermelon color that I actually, I didn't really actually like that one. So maybe not all of these are the same. I don't really know, but I like this one a lot. And I think it was in like a travel, like a travel kit kind of a, kind of a kit, like a travel kit kind of a kit. Um, it was in something like that where it was like bronzy and sort of like vacation themed. So this is kind of that like bronzy nude color. It's really pretty. I love this. It's gorgeous by itself, but it's really pretty layered with a nude. So that's what I was doing most of the week. I did wear it by itself, but I really enjoy it layered. So I do have it kind of on the outside of my lips today, layered with the other thing that I'm about to share with you. So just gorgeous. I love that it has that like bronzy sheen to it. So it's a nude, but it's a darker, more intense, bronzier nude. Really gorgeous. What I have it layered with is this nude from Lipstick Queen. This is in Bare Nude Center, and it is a gorgeous nude. I feel like this is one of those nudes, like I do have it layered so it's darkening it up just a little bit, you know, with the other one, cause that is a darker nude that I have it layered with. Where am I going with my hand? That I have it layered with. But this one is like just a perfect nude that can be worn on my skin tone and my lip color. I feel like I can wear this one by itself and it's still a nude, very, very neutral, but not a concealer nude. So I, I don't feel like it's essential for me to wear a liner or something to kind of help give it more dimension. It works by itself really well. Really nice formula to it. It's so pretty. Love that color. Yeah, it's just, it's a great nude. And it's got like a little bit, it's like a cream finish. So it's got just a little bit of that kind of sheen to it. Really nice, very like sturdy, heavy sort of packaging. So they feel like fancier lipsticks, sort of that NARS sort of packaging on the outside where it's sort of rubbery feeling or whatever. So really pretty lipsticks. Love that color. All right, guys. So those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.